Our story begins with a fairly typical setup. Lone motorist on an empty road. Or so she thinks. Opening scene cliff dive. I like it already. Meet Rick. If you can't already tell by the awesome mullet, he is, of course, the hero of the piece. So, what are they teaching driving that so, so, one evening, Rick decides to take his kid brother out for his very first driving lesson in the dead of night with reduced visibility, as you do. Following the death of his brother, Rick becomes obsessed with the fact that not enough is being done to stop reckless and drunk drivers. I feel an 80s montage coming on. Yeah, forget the A-Team, the Gladiator should have had his own show. Even without these modifications, there is something deeply sinister about a black 69 Charger. As some of you already know, the Dodge Chargers used in this movie were actually leftover General Lees purchased from Warner Brothers. For those of you who are new to Citizens for Highway Safety, Welcome. It's pretty clear right from the outset that this movie was the filmmaker's way of taking a stand against drunk driving. Early on, they make it clear that this killer drinks and drives. The implication being, if you drink and drive, you are no better than a cold-blooded murderer, which is a very valid point.
At some point during production, the filmmakers woke up one day and realized, uh-oh, we're about to release a movie which glorifies vigilantism. So the movie's message abruptly changes from don't drink and drive to don't take the law into your own hands. Let me caution you, all of you. Don't go around taking the law in your own hands looking for trouble. Because you're going to find trouble. I guess the biggest irony here is, in attempting to make the streets safer, he is himself driving like a total jackass and giving zero shits for the safety of other motorists. Grappling hook cannon is a neat little toy, but uh, I think anybody in the back seat would beg to differ. Hey, how's it going? Son of a bitch, I'll kick your ass for turning the General Lee into a killer! You know, I've often wondered where the game of chicken originated. I got a feeling the guy who invented it probably died young, and his final words were something like, Yo, watch this! <laughs> Durr. Cracks me up every time. America!